Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mackie McCandlish, drafting an Innistrad Dark Ascension 8 4. And we got Vorapede, which is okay, but he's triple green, which is kind of bad. But there's not much in this pack. We got Vengeful Vampire and Loyal Cathar. It's pretty weak as packs go. I mean, I guess we take the triple green and maybe we'll get to play it and maybe we won't be green. Sounds like a plan. This pack seems weak too. We got Wild Hunger, Vengeful Vampire, Reap the Seagraph. Kautalash. Kautalash! Hmm, I like Wild Hunger. And I don't really like six drops. This is a bad scene. Um, this is just meh. I just meh. I like this guy. He's damn. This pack was good. It's still got a tragic slip in it. And this guy. Holy shizzes. Not to mention the rare. Never got to cast him, although I had him in a draft before. He just never came up in a way I could cast. Because he all six mana. Um, well, crap. Cool game winning dude versus Tragic Slip. Tragic Slip, I definitely take over this guy. He's a blue ass signal. And green is not even in the pack, so he must have taken a good green. It's also kind of a black signal. Yeah, I'm gonna go cheaper is better. I love this guy. Like, even if I end up playing blue, I'd still want the tragic slip, <laughs> to be honest. just a more reliable thing. Yeah, I'm not, I mean, I guess I could take him, but this is so much better that it's kind of not even a comparison. I like Griptide. I'm starting to feel more and more blue. Blue, black, and those were a youthful whatever a youthful adventure into nonsense. <clears throat> I like this too. Evolving wilds. Oh, it's okay. I'm getting texts. Yeah, I mean the green is not closed off necessarily, but it, they're taking the better green, I think. Whereas the better blue is definitely coming through. Okay. We're not seeing any black, so... Yeah. Can't regret my early picks. Mm. He can be kind of annoying. Like this one, I don't know if I want to be playing some red, but maybe I do. I'll take a white card and find out what colors I am someday. Yeah, not much green coming around. I th would rather have a card I might play than a card I'm going to be sad to play. If you understand what I mean. Um, well, I think between the colors I have, I, I like my blue-black the most. 
Voripede is a lost dream of a dying race. In an ancient age from another time! <sighs> Could have had big six... Whatever. I'm just not casting cards from my graveyard of the present time. Unless I play Wild Hunger, which is seeming unlikely. Um... But we don't know that we were really black and we might be forced to play Stupid Cat. Do I double down on this crap that it doesn't do much for me? What if I get Awesome Red Burn and I want to play this? Yes, this completes my five color draft. These both kind of suck. This has, would be better if I taken the mill guy, but maybe I'll be... Mm, yeah, I'll still take this guy. Infinite cats. Uh, sometimes I get into like a, a blue-white spirit thing and then I want the shriek geist. But I didn't see much of that going by. Just Shriek Geists. Shriek Geist Incorporated. It's hard for me to see myself playing the green unless I get a Cage Breakers here. Or Sulfur Falls. Really not the pack I wanted to see. <laughs> Thank you. A Delver of Secrets? For me? You shouldn't have. Guys. Guys. <sighs> this is a blank. It's a Traveler's Amulet. Sulfur Falls. Mausoleum Guard with my other nonsense white. Be more white blue. Splash Tragic Slip. I guess that sounds like a plan. Mmm, sexy. That can be a weird, cheesy win condition, although I'm giving up Scab Goliath, Deranged Assistant, one of those two, probably the Goliath. Let's get at least a little bit realistic about our cards. <laughs> Stupid cats. I'm probably not playing that. This is a win condition if you can get there, sort of. Better if you're milling them. Yeah, I'm gonna combo up that six drop with the four drop. Whatever. Yeah, this has a lot more. Hmm, I don't know. We'll see. It has a lot more though. Spider spawning and Abby Griffin. So far, we see more blue-white um, do the stuff and less hold back and do something eventually, although this card wants us to hold back. I think this card is more like a an alternate thing, alternate way to get at him, whereas spider spawning is more wanting the mill to be happening, which is not what my crappy cards well, that kind of wants it, but... Blue-white flyers. Curse the bloody tone. Armored scab. Doesn't... 
do anything for us currently, except pump up the grimoire. Whereas Silver Chase Fox is a little more aggro y. But if I get the curse, do I want to be playing that game? The Armored Scab probably sets up creatures we're going to want to get. We just might not get them, but we want to get them. And wanting to get is half the battle. Well, we got another cool land. But. Voice is okay. Silver Chase Fox is okay. Sort not much on the two drop territory in any case. Yeah. Hmm. Dream Twist, Forbidden Alchemy, Delver, some creatures. Forbidden Alchemy. Things would be more obvious if I was on more of a mill train than I am. I'm not really. Delver of Secrets. And Forbidden Alchemy, I can do a little black splash and it can all start to make some sense. Yes, sense and sensibility. Um. Got a zombie to and a zombie cat. But I don't like double black. This pack is not so good for me. Splinter Fright can mess a bitch up. It's been my experience. Well, in the current state of affairs, black cat's probably not getting played. I don't need another four drop. I really don't want these cards. <laughs> Stitcher's Apprentice or Demon Mail Hallberg? I don't think I need another 4 drop, and I do need another 2 drop, so that's kind of an easy one. Ugh. It's that deck where you're forced to play Dollar of Secrets. I wish somebody had told me it was going to be that deck. I could have saved myself a lot of time and effort. Oh, you. I knew there was one in here I hated. Hate, hate, hate. Well, if we win by curiosity, I'll be surprised. Hopefully we get some reason to mill them, and then we can play a mill card. This doesn't seem like a good choice. Hmm, something playable. Can't complain. Playable-ish. Hmm. See, the thing I probably screwed up on is taking tragic slip over the blue guy when there was a chance I'd want to play blue because he's a huge blue signal and I passed a huge blue signal to other people. So that kind of sucked. Because now I'm not going to get much blue. And I'm not getting treated well by these opening packs. Okay, there's a brimstone volley, there's a blazing torch, there's a voiceless spirit. This is definitely better than the last time. Um, the chapel, if the isolated chapel came around, I'd probably take it to... I'm not going to go Brimstone Volley, it just is an improved tragic slip that doesn't have flashback powers with my Forbidden Alchemy. I like both the Deranged Assistant and the Voiceless Spirit. The Deranged Assistant gets me into all my 4-drops faster, and the Blazing Torch's removal in a deck that has so very little, so... Kinda boring, kinda necessary. Ah, this was good things happening for somebody. 
the white and blue, not there. Some white blue rare got taken. Left with Gavany Township, which is awesome. I am white. <laughs> I would be very happy if I were green or black right now, and I'm kind of black, so maybe I just take the nobles and try to squeeze them in there with my other four drops. Township without green. Oh, Vorpede. Should have followed you to glory. Travel preparations goes well with Forbidden Alchemy. Shoot. Yeah, I don't... I just don't know. Damn, oh my god, this pack is awesome. I tend to think the murder of crows, but claustrophobia is amazing. I don't know if I even play the nobles. Maybe I do. They are great in other decks. Man, these three cards. I have some dying going on, but not that much. But this is still freaking the closest thing my deck can get to a bomb, I think. Whereas these are just flat out necessities. Yeah, that's, I don't know. It's a tough one. <laughs> um. I guess it's quest times like this where you say, what's the real win condition? It might be like Grimoire and Stupid Curse and get to a murder of crows, and then I'm not trying to rush win. I mean, I think the lack of two and three drops. I mean, I've, and he's actually can be more of a delaying tactic too, and so is this guy. So I think I'm more on the delay tactic train at this point. But I don't know if that means I take an early Fortress Crab. Because you get one... You might get him back instead. So one, two, three, four. I probably don't get back the stuff I want. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I don't. I don't have enough things to play off of Dream Twist. He's a four drop though. I have other things to delay. Just take another blazing torch. Torch them to hell. Stalker has nothing to wear. Surprisingly, didn't get any scabs. Well, not that surprisingly. I passed, like, the biggest one ever. Hmm. Unburial Rites is not terrible in this collection of cards. It's just expensive to go with my other randomness. Ooh, 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 so I gotta take one of these two. I have enough stuff getting into my graveyard where I don't think the stitch trach is a problem. It's just not removal, like claustrophobia. But it can do good things for me. I think he fills a good slot, so this might be stupid. Oh, you are a late gift, my friend. This pack is getting, this is getting better the later in the packs we go. Um, do I want another one of these? It's possible. I mean, I don't really need another thing twice at this point. Wow. I do have a lot of four drops. I do have this guy to get into. Oh, 
the clock, it's so merciless. Riptide, Forbidden Alchemy, Divination, Think Twice, Tragic Slip, maybe. I don't want two Delvers anyway, if I did. Interesting combination, O cards. No Silent Departure, no Claustrophobia. We will have to live with that decision. Sure, it will not be pleasant. Not to mention, I don't know. I think a black splash at this deck could go places. I'm still comparing the tragic slip with the super huge dude that mills them, and then I got two curses of the bloody tongue. <laughs> he would have been a good finisher. See what would happen if I tried to play a curse deck. Oh, I could have put this on the stalker. Okay, deck wants a little more creature action, and we got these great black cards. And on the bright side, we have no double white and not much double blue. Um, the mob doesn't excite me that much. The Abbey Griffin kind of does. From the Abbey. Blocks the skies. Splash of black takes me there. I'll take you there. Look at all the playable cards we're not playing. Crazy indecisiveness. 12 creatures. Seems interesting anyway. I don't know if I really want to go in on this curse thing. Curse and dream twist. We don't really have a way to... Well, it's like I got Grimoire of the Dead. That's what I'm hoping for, I guess. Seems like like when you play scars and you go half infect, half damage to me. Also, especially since I'm going so hard on random little bits of itty bitty removal. It does seem a little half and half, doesn't it? to get me my priest. It doesn't seem like it. Ten Islands? Seems... Mm, it's a lot of blue. Let's see. One, yeah, two, three... Four, five... 
not really enough for me to want to play Delver 6. That's okay. A little dicey. A little dicier than normal. At least it's all on the three drops, I guess. They just don't... Some of them do stuff anyway. Hmm. Interesting. Heading into round one, I was thinking... It could be funny if I, like, try to mill somebody and they mill me because they get drops mind. 